Okay, first stop today. I've been wanting to come here ever since I got to Dallas. This place is called Tommy Tamale. First of all, I love tamales. I love tamales. And you got your regular tamales here. I got a habanero pork one and a chicken one. But then they got these crazy like tamale bowls. This is a Frito pie bowl and this is a tamale bowl. So this one, pico de gallo on top. You got a whole tamale in here. Look at this. This is a sexy shot right here. Whoa, yeah, baby. When you dig deep, you got cheese and rice on the bottom. How amazingly sexy is this? Like just amazingly sexy. Food porn to the max. This is just so crazy. Look at this beautiful, fresh tamale. Take some of the chili, cheese, pickle de gallo, some queso. If I could hug it without this thing completely just, you know, ruining my shirt, I would do it. This is an emotional, spiritual food experience. Tamales are so soft and gentle, coupled with the melty cheese, the tomatoes, and the meaty chili. I can't even, I gotta try the other ones before it gets cold, but I think it can only get better from here. So this thing, beef tamale covered in cheese. And then on the bottom, check this out. Instead of rice, we have Frito chips. If you guys never had a Frito pie, it's basically like someone made up this concoction where there's just stuff Frito chips and you put chili and cheese inside the bag and you microwave it or something. This is like a much fancier, better variation of that. Frito pie. Yeah, baby. I never want to turn my back on rice or pick anything else besides rice, but get a Frito ball. Frito chips instead of rice, that's a winner. This thing is crunchy. The chips are seasoned as well. I've had a Frito pie before. This is like the ultimate addition of that. And everything is just centered around the essence of the bowl, which is the soft, delicious tamales. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna call this the Tom Brady. It's the winner. He's not a cheater, okay? He's a winner. And this is the ultimate dip. So they basically put everything in here. Cheese, chilies, uh, sour cream. You got the guac in here. Basically it's every one of the sides put into one bowl and they made it into a dip. How freaking genius is that? If everything tastes good, just put it all together. Mix it up, grab some chips. Basically, everything you love about every single dip out there is, is all here. The sour cream, the creamy cheese, the creamy guac, the chilies, the spices. It's thick, it's creamy, it's just dynamite flavors. Yo, what do you think, Brenna? Try the dip, try the dip. That's really good. Right? I like that. That's amazing. That's really good. Have you tried the Frito pie? Right? You gotta get the dip when you come here. That's probably the tastiest thing we got so far today. Not saying other things aren't tasty, it's just that everything is tasty, that's just the tastiest. Won't be able to stop eating this dip. There's also spicy salsa. Mm, I personally like a little burn, so I like the habanero pork. But really, there's no bad food at this place. So after we eat, we're gonna go try the dessert tamale. I don't think I've ever had a chocolate tamale before. I've had a chocolate dumpling, not a chocolate tamale. Come get the chocolate tamale. Ah, it's so good. That's appropriate ending to this meal. The chocolate one's the best, like really good. Apple one's good too, but oh my God, the chocolate. I kind of took an off day yesterday, basically just didn't really eat anything. Had a couple salads. Yes, I do eat salads. Yeah, happy I did that because this is so incredibly decadent. It's good, but it's so incredibly decadent. I don't think I could have just ate like a bunch of barbecue and then came back and ate this. I mean, my mouth would have been happy, but it is a very deliciously decadent meal. <sighs> I need a nap after this already. It's my first meal of the day. Ooh, stuffed churros, love stuffed churros. Oh man, this looks good. So I don't know how many of you guys have ever been hit by like a nap attack, but after eating those amazing tamales, had to go home and just zunked out, like, like flat out nap attack, knocked out for hours. Then went and ran some errands and dinner time, 
here we are. This is uh, Carrollton, but I heard about this taco place. I walked in and again, just like this morning, the, the aroma just start pummeling me in the face. I think this is gonna be really good. Also, what I love about these authentic taquerias, look how big the horchata is. They don't even ask you if you want any size with this. They don't say like a small horchata or a large. This is what you get, Texas sass. Tacos are here first. We got four of the trumple tacos. If you never had trumple tacos, it's basically al pastor taco. Trumple is just a spinning thing mechanism. There's a special right now, 99 cents per taco. Got four. This is what I really came here for. These are the birria tacos. And last time I had this, I was in Los Angeles. Birria is basically this stew of beef and they slowly cook it until it's just falling apart. You eat these with a side of consomme, which is the soup from the stew that they're cooked in. Add a little cilantro, onions, and usually the shell is toasted on the outside. You take this and you dunk it into the consomme. Praise the almighty taco gods. I don't think four is enough. I might need at least a dozen of these. Tremendously tender slices of beef inside this little taco shell that's so crispy on the outside. I actually forgot something. Squeeze a little lime juice in there. Add a little salsa. And then take this for a dip. You gotta come and try this. The combination texture of the crunchy shell and the tender meat and that just flavorful broth. That's gonna make your tongue so happy. Really like some kind of bean soup with little chopped up hot dogs. Mm. That's okay. And then what you can do is you can take these tacos, add whatever you want to it. And I got an extra order of consomme. I'm gonna dip this in here as well. out of this world. Obviously, I kind of wish I came earlier when that pork just finished cooking and sizzling. This, <coughs> even though it's a little drier than I would have liked, still mind-blowingly good. Now, the key is to come as soon as that pit finishes cooking and get this. Wow, how good is that? So good, right? All right, while we're eating, Brenda told me there's another place that serves amazing tacos. This place supposedly nobody really knows about. Maybe tomorrow though, because like, I feel like I'm still feeling the effects of this morning. Ah, more tacos, thank you. Tuesday and Wednesday, they have 99 cents. Come for these. And I just crave this stuff like nothing. Oh. So good. This is gonna be a tradition for me. Once a week, I'm gonna come here and just eat these 99 cents tacos. Mm. How good of a deal is this? This is such a good deal. I'm gonna ask him like when that pit stops cooking. I'll be the first one in. I'll be like, I want that fresh cut. Wait, I might even be back tomorrow. I'm not gonna like a fresh cut of tacos tomorrow. So good, right? What a great find this is. And definitely get a $2 serving of consomme. Get that and eat it with that. You will not be disappointed. Oh, that's one more thing. Or try this great too. Stuffed turtles. First time I had this was in Phoenix. Never had stuffed turtles before. Never saw them at Disney. One of these is caramel, one of these is vanilla. Mmm. With some ice cream? This will make my night. Might need to go find some ice cream after this. This is the caramel. My fondest memory of eating churros is actually in um, in Spain. And they just have these places like these churro hot chocolate cafes. You just go there. All they sell is churros and hot chocolate. Mm. This is what you need to get. When the caramel fell out of my churro, it's kind of like my churro pooped. Today is definitely a very enjoyable but heavy food day. Even I know I need to kind of take it easy. So I go back and hit the gym so the boobs don't deflate, you know? All right, who am I kidding? Need some ice cream. Devious desserts. This is so freaking pretty, by the way. This is excellent. Ubay ice cream is great. Beautifully purple. Cheese bar. I really wanted to say this blueberry cheese bar because I'm super into anything blueberry. And he said it, I was like, ah, oh, I got it. I got him to recommend me what I wanted to eat. Mmm, it's crumbly, tart, the cheesecake is nice and creamy. 
Right? That's good. How good is that? I think the fresh blueberries provides that little tartness so it counteracts the creaminess of the ice cream and the cheesecake. It's all about balance. Life, food, everything, all about balance. Should we go eat Bumble Way after this? <laughs> no? All of a sudden I was like, man, maybe we should get some Bumble Way. Even though like at a taco place, I'm like, nah, I think we're good. We ate some really heavy stuff today. But that does sound good though. It does sound good, right? Yeah. It's not the most food I've ever eaten in a day, but it's definitely really heavy. We'll drive by the Bumble Way place. If it's like not too packed, we'll, we'll go eat down. I don't know why. I've always thought this. Sunset just looks better in Texas for some reason. This is my order everywhere I go. Cheese foam with tea, 25% sugar. That's it. But they got matcha cheese foam this time. Delicious. Time to go home, go to gym, go to bed. Now that the thought of Bumbo Way or fuzz in my head, we gotta have it tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow, we gotta have it tomorrow. Let's go. After tacos. See you then. Good morning, taco day number two. We're going to Brenda's taco place. What'd you say about my shirt? Um, he wears it too much. <laughs> I just got it out of my laundry. I wash it though. Wait, you have a birria ramen. We do. What? Yes. Hit me up with that, please. This toast looks like it's just soaked in butter. I and mean, there's so much meat here. This looks amazing, by the way. And these are their crispy, cheesy tacos. We got the Iberia tacos and then El Pastor. What? This is an Iberia ramen. Look at, first of all, look at the top of this. Look at all the chilies and spices and all this crazy beef. Oh, here's the ramen, here's the ramen. Oh my goodness. I mean, look, this is just regular instant noodles, obviously. So I'm not expecting much from the noodle texture or anything like that, but good Lord, look at what it's surrounded by. Just the most juicy, tender pieces of shredded beef and chilies and this great consummate broth. And even though I had that stewed beef many times before I never thought about throwing noodles inside which could be the most genius move ever so they didn't add the seasoning pack in so this is just pure consomme and, and beef oh this broth is insane all right I don't even care about the noodle texture at all this broth anything that soaks up broth should be dipped into this broth this is great I mean, I should have pictured something like this when I first had the consomme. Is the noodles would go perfect in this. And heck, yeah, it does. Mmm, that is so beefy. All that flavor is just pounded into the noodles itself. And they give you so much shredded beef in here. I'm actually gonna utilize the lime and the onions just to add a bit more citrus in here. I've never added a lime in my ramen before. Amazing. This is the spicy salsa that they brought. <laughs> We're gonna put some salsa in my ramen. Hopefully it won't kill the flavor. I just want a little heat. Don't do that. Don't mess with the beef broth. 100% good this when you come here. The onions in here, great. Nothing fancy about the noodles. These are just instant noodles. It's all about the broth. Don't even add the lime in here. I think that's a little too much. Just eat it as is. But no, you might have to get your own. This is like crazy good. How good is that? Yo, that is so fantastic. Oh my gosh. Try this grilled cheese. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah, I was right. This is golden because it's just soaked through with butter. But again, so much meat and cheese. Meat is just tremendously tender. Dip that in the consomme. Mmm. Good find, Brenda. This is a really good place. And I like the fact that they offer crispy tacos for every taco option. This is so good. Tacos are so good. Of course, just dip everything you can into this wonderful consomme. Mm. Wow, this is a great place. Mm. It's just so so much meat inside this little crispy, delightful shell. 
I'm gonna put this place on the highly recommended list. We've been thinking about Vietnamese noodles for, well, ever since yesterday. Are you even hungry? No, too much tacos. I'm hungry. So apparently this place has a Wagyu pho. I didn't realize the first time we came here. Last time I was here, I've been here once and I really liked the pho here. But I didn't realize, which some people messaged me later, was that they actually have Wagyu beef pho, Kobe beef pho. I didn't know they had this. So that's what I'm here for today. That's what I'm gonna try. So this is the Wagyu. I don't know what quality it is. I really doubt this is like A5 or anything like that, but it is definitely way more marbled than a typical slice of beef. And they actually give you a ton of meat in here. I don't remember if this was the case last time, but they give you a lot of meat. Oh, it's so good. This is so good. This broth is a champion. Mm, just a smacking your face amount of beef flavor. And you get that great aroma from the scallions too. Ah, so good, so good. Right there. That's tender. That's definitely not A5 Wagyu, but come on, for $16 for a massive bowl and it give you a ton of meat, I wasn't expecting that. But this is delicious. Still melts in your mouth, way better than any other cut of beef inside a typical bowl of pho. And you get that great melty flavor that Wagyu gives you. $16 is how much a typical bowl of pho, like a regular average Joe, Russell Brand looking bowl of pho in New York will cost you. $16 here, next level meat, a ton of it, and some of the best broth around. Part of the reason why I moved to Texas, for the pho. Y'all think I'm joking. How good is that? Really good. Really good, right? I want to eat this every day. Like I want to come back here and eat this every day. Mm. Can I get another one? One more. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's so good. You gotta hit the repeat button on that. Thank you. Bowl number two. This is also a good test to see whether there's just as much meat in there or not. This is the second bowl, and it's about the same amount of meat. I am happy to report. Consistency. Check. Pho is one of my all-time favorite foods on this planet. And back when I was in New York, I remember pho used to be like $5.95. So I'll go to this place, they sell their pho for like $5.95, $6. I would always get two larges, go back home, eat the noodles, drink the soup, and just feel darn good for the rest of the night. In this place, this pho warrants a second bowl. Mm, I love the use of scallion. It just makes such a big difference. This bowl, I will enjoy in private. See after. Yeah, How do you feel? I feel great. Did I scare you? A little bit. I was <laughs> shocked a bit. That's one of the best bowls of fun I've had in a long time. Ready for dessert? Let's go. Whenever I see outdoor seating, I get really, really excited. One of my favorite things to do nowadays is find a place that has outdoor seating and just sit there and have myself a milk tea. It's pretty good. Mm. So I spent about a week and a half total in Dallas so far. I feel like I'm just kind of scratching the surface of all the food this city has to offer. And there's so many options, like there's Fort Worth, there's Dallas, there's Austin, there's Houston. There's all these places are really not that far away. And it hasn't been hot. It's been like 60s, 70s, low 80s. I know the uh, the heat is coming. I know soon this place is gonna feel like, what, the devil's armpits, but so far, not too bad. And every time I go out food hunting, there's always something that's kind of unexpected. Today was the, definitely, the Mexican ramen. Oh, that was good. Yesterday was today, it was the best thing we ate. I really like the pho. The pho? <laughs> yeah. Well, obviously the pho is really good. The taco's good. The taco's good. Yesterday's al pastor taco yeah. was amazing. The Excuse pho ramen was really good. How you doing? Thank, thank you so much, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. You. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. And people are really, really nice. All right, I'm gonna savor my little daily milk tea time here. As always, all the players win too, down below for you. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.